What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. If you haven't heard the news already, AI has been getting increasingly impressive, making a lot of artists question whether or not AI is gonna be taking over their jobs like it did for Google and Microsoft folks. So far, I've seen incredible use cases for AI and 3D programs to help create amazing renders, 3D models, and animation. But so far, all of the techniques are super clunky and may even rely on a bunch of different softwares. So today I'm gonna to be talking about ChatGPT, which is one of the most popular AIs to have come out, mostly because it can handle natural language processing, which just means that you can talk to it like you're talking to a regular person. And it just has this vast knowledge or bank of information that it can sift through and sort out and provide to you in a nice synthesized way that's actually relevant. So we're gonna be testing out how far we can push ChatGPT and Blender to see whether or not it's able to handle some complex tasks in Blender. Blender. Now, naturally, the AI cannot plug directly into Blender. So what we're going to be doing for this challenge is we're going to ask it to do some very specific tasks and then write us out a piece of code that we can then plug into the scripting section of Blender. Another huge point of the challenge is that we're not going to use any add-ons or set up anything specific in Blender beforehand. So I'm going to be using the stock version of Blender 3.4, which is the newest release version of Blender. And honestly, I have no idea how these results are going to turn out. So for the first challenge, I wanna see if ChatGPT can create something a little bit more complicated than just a primitive, like a cube or a sphere. And that is Gabe. I wanna see if ChatGPT can create something a little bit more complex than a basic primitive, like a cube or a sphere. So instead, I'm gonna tell it to create a randomly generated terrain. And the reason for this is because there's a bunch of different ways that you can go about creating a terrain. Also, a terrain is not a basic primitive that I can just say, okay, go ahead and add terrain. You know, it's gonna have to use a bit of complex thinking and synthesizing to know what a terrain is, know how to actually achieve that result, and then feed us the script that's gonna do exactly that from just using a basic general project in Blender. So this is the code that it fed us. And all we have to do is just plug this into the scripting panel, click on new, copy and paste that code in and hit run. And hopefully we're gonna get a result. But already I can tell that this is giving back a traceback error. So something is actually wrong with this code. Let's hop back into ChatGPT to see if it's actually able to understand what's going on so that we don't have to fix this ourselves. Okay, and impressively enough, it actually realizes the error with the code that it gave us. And it says that if we're using Blender 2.8 or later, there's gonna be a different line of code that we have to include. And it even gives us an explanation as well as a brand new code that we can use to plug into this. Wow, just like that, I gotta say, this isn't the best looking terrain, but I gotta give it some props for going about this in a pretty interesting way, such as using a noise map and a displacement modifier on a subdivided plane. This is this is pretty cool. For modeling something, I think ChatGPT gets a win. It's not a 10 out of 10 knocking it out the park but it is a solid maybe 6 out of 10 because this is something that we could probably go ahead and modify a little bit more on our own end to add that artistic vision great job chat gpt all right so for the next challenge i want to see if chat gpt can actually animate something so one thing i have in mind is animating a cube and making it change colors but as a little bit of a twist i don't want it to just change its regular color channels i actually want this cube to emit light and change colors randomly as time goes on this is something that is relatively simple but tedious to set up in Blender. So I'm hoping that ChatGPT can give us a script that's just gonna handle this right out the gate. So this is how I'm giving it the prompt and this is the initial code that it gives us back. And again, it looks like we're getting an error. So let's go ahead and see if ChatGPT can troubleshoot this process. I'm not gonna give it any additional context, just gonna copy and paste in that error code and feed it right back into it and see if it knows what's actually going on. The really cool thing that I'm noticing about this is that not only does it give us the code but it gives us descriptions for each line of code so we know what it's supposed to be doing and then when we feed it back an error message it also tries to think about why that error message is happening and how it can resolve it so we don't have to be experts at code at all we just need to know how to copy and paste which is freaking mind-blowing and this is the updated code which I think ChatGPT knocks it out the park it definitely creates a cube with an emissive material and that emission color changes over time now one little detail about it is that the color is not as vibrant as I'd like it to be, but it gives us a, an explanation as to how we can actually improve this or tune it to our liking. So if I just go ahead and increase the strength of these a bit, all of a sudden we have this nice neon looking cube that changes color. It, it's freaking cool.
cool. Okay, and now for the last test, I wanna give ChatGPT something that is gonna be super hard to do, which is take something such as a concept and then turn it into an actual usable thing in Blender, and that is three-point lighting. So three-point lighting is a lighting technique that a lot of artists use, whether it's photography, filmmaking, and we even talked about it in our previous video, but I wanna see if ChatGPT can create us a script that's gonna automatically create three points of light, position them correctly, know which light is the fill light, the key light, and the backlight, all without us having to do anything manually. So let's go ahead and feed it this prompt and see what it says. Already, my mind is getting blown because holy crap, it knows what three-point lighting is. It's even labeling all three of the lights, so it's actually understanding what I'm asking of it. It's not just creating three light sources in the center. Even more amazing is at the very bottom, we have an explanation for each of the lights and how we can fine-tune this to our liking. So off the bat, this is amazing. You know what? I'm going to give it another challenge. I'm going to ask it to make these instead of point lights. Let's try and have it make them spotlights as if we were using a real world lighting scenario. And bam, just like that, it's actually even changing these to spotlights, which is freaking mind blowing. Now, one of the issues I'm seeing here is that the spotlights are not angled toward the object itself, but I already got to give it mad props for just creating it in its own way, which I think is super impressive. So for this case scenario, I got to give ChatGPT an 8 out of 10, knocks it out the park here. So already, these are just my initial tests and challenges with ChatGPT and Blender, but I'm pretty sure that just given a little bit more time and a little bit more strategy and planning as to what you can create, maybe AI is not going to take your job, but instead it's going to help you create even more impressive stuff because I know that the learning curve for getting into scripting is super high, and then there's a lot of different things in Blender that can become tedious and may benefit from having AI as your own personal troubleshooter and liaison for creating different things. My mind's blown. I'm super impressed and I'm excited to see what you guys create with AI and Blender. Anyways, if this is your first time on the channel, I want you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff. Also, if you're interested in a way to improve your renders in Blender, whether that's your car renders or animations or anything for that matter, I highly recommend you check out this video that we have. It talks about one of the best lighting techniques that you can possibly know in Blender and how you can set it up so that your renders just come out looking amazing every time. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one. All right, peace.